Hello, dear student. Today uh, uh, I trying to introduce to GIST labs and uh, the gistological examination of biopsies per se. And uh, uh, we uh, now uh, about patho pathology and pathogistology method and uh, uh, on uh, our, de our department uh, we have some practice in this album and micro slides. Uh, probably it's uh, it seems not so uh, practical oriented uh, when the student try to uh, make drawings from microscope and some from some list of pathological slides slide with different uh, diseases uh, but it uh, make very little introduction to our speciality. Uh, in general, uh, pathohistological uh, examination is gold standard in, in diagnostic because it's uh, real real information. We can touch these micro slides. We can uh, see in, in special devices, microscopes, uh, use uh, many methods of staining and uh, fluorescent and another uh, and molecular biological methods uh, when this method use tissue from paraffin blocks uh, it's uh, in comparison with radiology it's uh, we can <laughs> uh, be close to this material and it's uh, you know, several several opinions of different uh, specialist experts. Uh, in in uh, usually for this uh, this goal, we can take some damage or disease uh, that uh, piece of tissue from organs from tissue tissues and uh, make uh, precise maximum or precise diagnosis by gistopathological examination uh, term uh, laboratorium uh, originated from medieval times it's some linked with the alchemistry or etc but it's very wide uh, multi meaning term and uh, usually it's room especially equipped uh, with devices networks uh, for histological studies uh, analysis of material and experiment of biomedical direction on this slide we can see microtome this is slide microtome microscope histoprocessor and this special uh, special device for retrieving antigens from uh, for immunogistochemistry it's special heating device with some additional pressure of boiled water typical uh, histology lab um, consists from main it's microtome thermostats uh, different laboratory dishes glasses etc balance pH meters and then hood with running water um, in uh, some professional uh, labs uh, uh, contains in the uh, 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 gisto processor or the hydration de device and the paraffin filling station in, in this way we can see microtome rotary microtome it's different approach to cutting these paraffin blocks and this um, uh, station filling station for preparing these paraffin blocks <clears throat> probably uh, main information for this uh, material is this uh, how we 
how prepare bare material to histopathology examination. It, uh, uh, in this uh, process, uh, here are some uh, simple rules. This is uh, maximal early collection of biomaterial, bio uh, minimal intervention, minimal damage of this material. Uh, it's quickly fixation in special uh, liquids. Usually, it's the main fixator is formaldehyde. Uh, probably uh, you remember from chemistry, organic chemistry, pathology, pathomorphology, or biochemistry information about formaldehyde. It is uh, forty percent uh, solution of formaldehyde. Call it formalin. This is uh, liquid you can see on our department in, in these macro gross specimens, macro preparates in, in different uh, years in, in, in these cases. Uh, uh, similar, uh, similar liquid used for fi fixation, uh, but uh, this um, a liquid uh, for uh, uh, samples uh, we use 10 person solution of formalin uh, okay it's uh, formalin is uh, 40 percent of formaldehyde uh, but from this uh, 40 percent we dilute this 40 percent uh, solution in 10 times and uh, um, we can obtain in, in such me methodic methods is typical fixa fixative for tissues. Uh, best fixative, um, it's used with in uh, diluted in a, a phosphate buffer. It is a very soft fixation and, and very tender uh, fixation. It's very important. Um, in uh, if we use this um, main fixator, we uh, optimal time for fixation twenty four hours. Uh, it's uh, less. It's not good. It's uh, this uh, solution not embedded all tissue. But if we uh, this, uh, use long time. Uh, fixation. This lead to uh, some fragile of this specimen. Uh, fragility of uh, biopsy. It's uh, not good for tissue because if we uh, continue processing, this is uh, decrease quality of microslide. Another simple rules. Simple rule. It's marking. It's very important because if we mix <laughs> sample, it's uh, all our activities useless and pointless, and it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, waste <laughs> all of our procedure. Okay, it's uh, what problem? Uh, it's uh, what this some underwater stones and in this. Uh, process. This is, uh, first is mechanical damage. Usually uh, surgeons uh, make such such problem very real and uh, often we have material after some inaccurate in some uh, damage, received damage tissue by some knives, uh, hands. Um, another problem is drying. It's maximal uh, fast fixation. It's uh, it uh, it will be uh, useful in in directly after surgery. Extremal 
temperature also damage this uh, this uh, specimens. Um, in sometimes we resolve uh, uh, material in in, a, in not formalin in another fix, fixative liquids. Uh, it's by mistake. Uh, usually, it's some technician by mistake uh, pulling into some acids or uh, solution of uh, heavy metal salts and uh, ethanol. Ethanol uh, in different concentration is not best, not best um, solution for first fixation. Uh, in in um, experimental labs, in some for scientific purpose, uh, often uh, this uh, like wet archive uh, keeps in ethanol, but this material keeps after primary fixation in formaldehyde. Also, human factor. It's always it's uh, most uh, problematic and dangerous uh, because human factor is everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, on, on each uh, stage, uh, uh, human mistake. It's can spoil on, on all process. It's obvious. Uh, next, uh, next rules for grossing and fixation. It is uh, it will be very good uh, if you use its um, vessels for sample more spacious or pre preventing damage. Uh, if we cut hollow organs like gallbladder, stomach, intestine, colons, it's uh, it will be good to use some plate for fixation it's because it's uh, this uh, wall can uh, can um, uh, lost structure because it's uh, um, this we, in, in this material we cannot find uh, its internal layer or external layer is some mess it's sort there <laughs> um, next is uh, some mucus layers it's uh, often floating in 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 solution different solution it's a um, it will be good use goes for keeping under fixative uh, fixative solution uh, yeah. next uh, important thing it's a uh, uh, ratio between volume of sample and fixative solution it's, uh, it will be minimal it's one to five times best it's one to ten or 20 times it's yes it's uh, expensive because it's uh, need uh, lots of fixative material a fixative solution and, and it's uh, from economy it's not probably supervised but it's uh, but it's best condition <laughs> and, uh, in the practical uh, in the private uh, labs uh, Usually, in, also in governmental labs, it's nobody keeps this ratio. It's usually one to three or one. It depends on material. Sometimes it's one to one. It depends on grossing. Next is grossing. It's uh, probably on uh, pathomorphology. You can see this procedure. Materials uh, sent it from hospitals, and uh, we prepare some uh, small pieces of this from the different organ or tissues. It's uh, 
it's uh, traditional or it's one to one centimeters but uh, most of cases is less the, this quadrat or this uh, material um, its uh, thickness is uh, best thickness is from three to seven millimeters um, uh, if we uh, make examination some hollow organs um, this cut should pass through all layers of this tissue and uh, also uh, also <clears throat> yes of course uh, this is uh, tissue should be should be um, fixated uh, enough for next stage of uh, of examination uh, if we have uh, if we have uh, some borderline uh, borderlines between like tumor and normal tissue we should or uh, normal tissue and necrosis uh, we should take part of normal tissue and part of necrosis and some borderlines territory this area in uh, microscopic examination we should evaluate it's in case of tumorous invasion or uh, capsular formation in case of some inflammation and virulent inflammation etc Uh, we prepare this piece of tissue and um, uh, we should um, remove water from this tissue uh, because it's uh, uh, we should embed tissue in paraffin for um, compacting this uh, have compact tissue for cutting very thin five seven microns it's uh three five microns it's for immunohistochemistry. chemistry but in in practical labs in practice this usually six seven it's more easy make this uh this cutting uh the main the main problem is formaldehyde solution is aqueous and paraffin but mixed with water and uh, we should remove water from battery or some consequence of alcohols from 70 to 100. In practice, we haven't 100%, uh, only 96% is because it's uh, absolute alcohol is too expensive. <laughs> in, in, uh, by, by, uh, in, on local level, it's possible to prepare absolute alcohol for some chemical salts, which can take water. But it's uh, it works uh, fine with ninety six percent ethanol, because after this ethanol alcohol, we move put this uh, tissue in xylene. It's for complete complete preparing this tissue. It's um, for uh, some pieces of tissue very small and can leak from cassette and we uh, wrap in gauze or use special very cassette with small, small holes uh, for this uh, flow in this liquid raw material uh, after after that um, samples after this uh, preparing uh, prepare in the running waters uh, usually uh, it's i uh, trying to explain some uh, a mechanism uh, mechanism of uh, handle 
this process. But uh, histoprocessors uh, make this process automatic. Um, the same about production of paraffin blocks. It's um, it's possible to make by hand in in many in some region, <laughs> uh, many many labs in small cities uh, use some hand by this production paraffin blocks by hand. We have in uh, in our lab uh, special paraffin filling station and in oncology hospital uh, another another labs but it's another is have only four labs in some <laughs> uh, use some this routine uh, it's some uh, very boring procedure uh, by hand preparing this uh, pouring this paraffin in special forms mounting quickly in special not special this is tweezers tweezers in uh, in this form and pulling this paraffin and uh, keep cooling this uh, this uh, material for preparing this block but uh, uh, but uh, machine devices is make this process easier is heating this paraffin and produce some dose of this paraffin for each cassette. I, uh, I will demonstrate probably later. Uh, another very difficult procedure is preparing preparing slay, slices, very thin, this thin, thin slices from paraffin blocks. And this uh, is probably it's cornerstone of this <laughs> preparation uh, process of preparation. Good, good, uh, good micro slide. Uh, in old times, in uh, Soviet times, uh, Soviet Union produced many rockets, cosmic devices, and some tanks, but not produce some uh glasses for microscopy. <laughs> in in old times, is this uh, prepare from window glass and using uh, this cleaning by soap, uh, soda, chrome mixture, and uh, cover from egg white for abgasion of these slides. Nowadays, it's uh, uh, it's commercially available consumables. It's very easy. But if we start uh, Laboratory <laughs> in in some mountains or in forests. <laughs> Probably all all procedures make uh, by hand. It's... Okay, it is um, this some photo from our lab. Is rotary microtom rotary microtom and more precise and uh, have ideal ex exploitate idea like high latin. And uh, this here we uh, fix uh, paraffin blocks and make cutting and collect these slices and place in special devices with uh, warm water. Okay. Uh, here is a histoprocessor. Uh, it's uh, and before war is produced in Mariupol, but uh, nowadays it's this uh, this uh, plant destroyed and the owner uh, was killed in March of 22. Uh, it's uh, probably last of this, this from these devices in, in Ukraine. Only if only two, two and a half years. So in this uh, carousel type of uh, histoprocessor, all uh, cassettes um, places in the solution alcohol and xylene, and the end uh, all this uh, way ended in paraffin. Uh, it's special uh, special heating uh, heating jar for paraffin, and paraffin embedded this 
samples. Uh, on this uh, in this place we have some uh, Soviet old Soviet type carousel mechanism. Here uh, again it is another another carousel types. It's about twenty years old, but it, it, this uh, looks not so shining. <laughs> <laughs> but it's produced in uh, some state university. It's in one example. Uh, this material, uh, our our professor, your teacher, <laughs> your previous teacher, uh, and uh, people from uh, uh, engineering faculty produce this device from some material from aliexpress <laughs> this is some uh, robotic arm uh, with uh, rotor motor uh, and the program which um, moves this uh, slides from from different uh, staining staining solution here is this place which uh, filled by this glass uh, with slide glass and this uh, by this robotic arm um, moving from from different solution to uh, last uh, this hematoxylin and eosin this is routine uh, routine staining for histopathology uh, this is a paraffin filling station again from mariupol um this is uh, this is uh, heating in this place heating paraffin in a liquid state uh, for preparing blocks we use a uh, mix of paraffins with uh, um, temperature 52 56 58 uh in in the sometimes it is uh, add waxes uh, pre in previous days. <laughs> uh, nowadays, commercially available uh, commercial available paraffin is very good. Uh, and this uh, temperature about sixty degrees uh, make paraffin liquid. And this uh, dos dosator. Mm. Uh, helps uh, fulfill these cassette, uh, special forms for blocks uh, and uh, here this is cooling plate and bigger cooling plate where this after we mount uh, sample this quickly quickly uh, paraffin quickly uh, stabilized and my, my uh, became became dense, so can be used for cutting. Okay, this is uh, like old school, old school place. It's uh, in this place. It's some uh, stain procedure by hand. It's moving from solution to solution, different uh, alcohol solution, xylene. Uh, this is open fire from, from mountain paraffin, etc. This is a special unit for <laughs> make solution. And uh, uh, here we can see uh, aerozyne Y solution and the uh, hemodoxylin behind this. This is hood. Hood. Mm -hmm. Okay, some short information about hematoxylin. This uh, this is uh, routine staining around the world it's in all countries in all continents. It's all people use the same procedure. It's uh, like international something international. <laughs> um, this is gematoxylin reserved from wood, compish wood, uh, by latin gematoxylon, compeching. 
This is uh, growing, this uh, tree growing in southern Mexico. Um, uh, historically, this uh, stain used for textile. This is, here is the color of hematox lymphoma. <laughs> Simplification. Uh, it is, uh, this <clears throat> uh, first uh, used uh, this stain in Germany by Bumer, 19th century. Um, interesting, before it's hemoglobin uh, used it for staining of for nuclear staining in cell. This stain uh, used for nuclear because it's basophilic stain. And this in nuclear, lots of acids, DNA, no, no, nuclear acids. And, uh, in, in such phases, uh, stain and acids react. And we can see uh, this nice, very nice color. Um, interesting, but uh, directly hemodexia not Staining anything, it's gematein. It is uh, oxidized form of gematoxylin. For oxidation, it is um, in in practice use aluminum ions. It's aluminum ions with phosphate, with kalium, um, and sulfates, uh, different forms. According to this. Uh, Procedure of uh, preparation, hemoxylin uh, can distinguish some different type of uh, modern type of um, hemoxylin. It's Myers hemoxylin. Uh, it's acid form of hemoxylin. Uh, second name is acid gemalone. Uh, this type of hemoxylin used for immunogistochemistry and uh, use for staining of Helicobacter pylora. It's very useful. Uh, another uh, modern type of hematoxylin is Karachi Jill Harris. Uh, uh, in our lab, uh, last we buy Jill hematoxylin. It's, Jill is more saturated. Myers and Jill hematoxylin is probably the best hematoxylin because they don't you don't need don't need additional pouring microslides into acid hydrochloric uh, weak hydrochloric solution of uh, hydrochloric acid solution because it's from some differentiation it's remove uh, Overload of this stain in its uh, Myers and Jill chemotoxylin, it's saturated uh, organically, it's by some like osmosis. This uh, not, not uh, overstain slides. And the technician uh, like it because it <laughs> don't need additional procedure. Okay, it's a hematoxylin. The next stain is in this uh, this pair is this elzin. Elzin also was discovered in nineteenth uh, century. <laughs> Germany, Germany is uh, in the old times, so it was uh, like flagman of. Histology, pathology, Rudolf Virchow invites this, this branch of uh, science. And uh, this is um, synthetic, synthetic uh, stain. Uh, earlier, I, I read the information. It says this, uh, this material uh, was originated from some mosquitoes. But uh, uh, when I uh, prepared to this lecture, I discovered it's <laughs> it's not not true. <laughs> it's a uh, inventor uh, named this 
EOS in, in honor of Chilot Friend. His nickname EOS. Some goddess of dawn uh, in Greek mythology. <clears throat> Usually, Elzin stains cytoplasm in pink orange color and uh, stain erythrocytes in his in, in intense red color. In the histology, use use uh, use uh, Elzin by as usually it's two percent two percent solution in ethanol. Um, also, it's uh, information, uh, very interesting information I d discovered <laughs> in the process of preparation. It's eosin is carcinogen. Uh, yes, we have uh, many carcinogens on on the work. Uh, it's formaldehyde, it's uh, weak carcinogen, but still carcinogen. Uh, Diaminobenzidine, but it's plus eosin. It's not make our work more dangerous or less dangerous. And uh, also, eosin dye used in some painting. Van Gogh uh, like this uh, stain, but problem in eosin, eosin degrade with sometimes and uh, its reason we cannot see lots of this stain in uh, modern uh, modern uh, painter or this in museum or, or this uh, in painting of this uh, artist okay it's uh, li like that probably in here it's the uh, elzin make became more brownish from times. Okay, thank you for listening. It's uh, I usually I put all material on my YouTube channel and this is you can contact with me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.